21st pumpkin patch update. The Casa Bananas are doing great. This is the best I've ever had Casa Bananas do. And the horned melons are finished. The vine is dead and I need to uh, take it down, rip it out, and start something new. And the pumpkin patch, I guess you can kind of see from here, is actually doing quite well. These are smaller pumpkins but they're getting bigger and I don't really do too much out here they're kind of on their own it's been dry lately, it hasn't rained for like five days but last night it finally rained I have been fighting uh, insects like uh, stink bugs and uh, powdery mildew as a disease this plant I think is infested it's not supposed to be white like that so I've been spraying it but it rained so it washed everything off it sucks I'm trying to stay on top of it. It's doing pretty well. This plant's beautiful. It's got a little bit of mildew. And I don't know why it's got that two types of green. If that's bugs eating it from underneath and leaving it paper thin, or if that's just the color it is. I've got another one like that in the other patch. And uh, there's some nice pumpkin plants there. So two rows coming in. They're starting the vine out. So that's good. And the gourd that was under the pigeon loft is doing very nicely. It actually has female flowers on it. I saw one the other day. I should have pollinated it. I don't know if the moths pollinated it or what. Hmm. Well, it was around here somewhere. The zuka, I think, is as big as it's going to get. It's not as big as the one that's hanging, but that's still very good and I'm thrilled and I've had a few surprises out here actually now, this is the one I was worried about dying and it's turned brown but hear that it's hardening up I think it'll be okay it just decided to harden on its own on the vine so I'm just gonna leave it on there till the whole vine dies out and I couldn't believe this. There were a bunch of weeds and I pulled them all out and I found this other... I think these are martin gourds. These are awesome. They're huge. Oh, and I, I put a pad under this one because of the rain, so I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this, get, find the styrofoam pad. And, uh, here's the arbor. Oh, there's a dried gourd right there. And, uh, Ugh, it's not easy to walk through. There's the big gourd, big zuka again. And then this other surprise. A third zuka. Yes, awesome. I don't think there's any more hiding in the leaves. But that just kind of came out of nowhere and that's really cool. So three zukas this year. Let's hope they get into the hardening stage and make it because I'd, I'd love to keep these. Although the seeds probably aren't, if I were to keep them for zukas, they're not good because these are probably cross-pollinated with all the other gourds and who knows what the new um, the new vines would look like next time around. And the official pumpkin patch update. The patch is looking beautiful. Don't mind the uh, metal boards. I'm putting them around everywhere to help kill the grass. But let's do a, a walkthrough. I've had a powdery mildew in here and uh, uh, stink bugs as well. The leaf-footed bugs are really bad. But I've been spraying and I am determined to win this year and get pumpkins. Look at the, the bitter gourd vine. It's gorgeous. I mean, that's one vine and it's climbed I was taking that fence down and it took over the fence and it's just beautiful. And it rained last night so it's kind of wet and see. That's the evil bug. 
get him later. And then these pumpkins. I had, there were five in here and only, I mean that one's hanging in there, but they've pretty much died out. And those. And for some reason, and I thought it was interesting that, uh, Brandon mentioned this, that his north side, his pumpkins don't do so well. Well, this is the north side, and I hadn't realized that I'm having the same thing. They're scrawnier. I mean, they get the same amount of light. It's just weird. It doesn't make sense. But these all on this north side are scrawny and not very good. Especially that poor one in the back corner. It never does well. I mean, you couldn't even, even tell that there's a pumpkin right there. No, I'll be the third time I could try to replant. But we have have gotten uh, male flowers have been coming out and they're beautiful. I don't really see any any this morning yet. But here's that my favorite pumpkin. Look how big this is. Big round leaves. I wonder what kind of pumpkin this will be. And it's already vining out so I'm not, there's a bud of a, a male flower. There were some beautiful male flowers opened yesterday. Real pretty. And then I see one over there. A small one. Must be a small type of pumpkin. So this is looking pretty good since I sprayed for uh, powdery mildew. Oh, here's one of those ones that's got the two colors. I just think uh, some kind of small caterpillar has been... Uh, eating it and leaving it like paper thin so the darker green is the color it's supposed to be. Darn bugs. That one has a, a big bite in it. Now that's not potty mildew. This is one of those pumpkins that has colored veins. It's really cool. Now that's really bad. Those are those melon worms. I hate those things. And the chickens are allowed out here. Here's a... You can see the droppings. And here's a melon worm that's trying to turn into a cocoon. He's put the silk, he put the camera down and get him out of there. This is a melon worm. This is the, almost as bad as the stink bug. I hate these things. It's a, a green caterpillar with white stripes on both sides, yellowish head. This one was getting ready to cocoon and turn into a moth, but we're not gonna let that happen. Henrietta, come here. Suka, Raptor! <laughs> come here, girls! Yes, it. Come here, Henrietta! Come on, Henrietta! Here! Wish I had more of these. Well, no, not really, but... Who wants a caterpillar? Hmm? Come here! They're molting. A lot of them aren't laying eggs right now. You go. Come here. Henrietta. Good girl. <laughs> I caught a chicken. <laughs> Luca, what are you doing? I'm sure she'll figure out how to get out of there. She got in there, she could get out. <laughs> can come this way. Come on, chicken. That a girl. <laughs> All right, back to the pumpkins. Right. So if I find the caterpillars, I give them to the chickens. The girls love them. And uh, I think I don't know. That might be pottery mildew. Have to do something about that too. Do a far shot now. What a difference how the patch has grown from last time. It's really coming along this uh, this east side. This older is doing very well. And the west side over there is slowly catching up. I mean the far west where that yellow flag on the end is is well, I hope it catches up. And I've got some patches up in there in the north I need to replace, and hopefully it'll grow and do well. Ah, can we make it for a pumpkin on Halloween? Here's hoping.